Hey, it's your guy Tyrell back with the interviews. Chelsea, Liverpool, both sides looking to finish in the top four, but with Liverpool qualifying for the Champions League final, would Chelsea provide a template for Real Madrid on how to beat Liverpool in a one-off? Don't worry, here at the interviews, we've got you covered. So on this edition of the interviews, I'm going to briefly break down Chelsea against Liverpool. So Liverpool, Chelsea, Chelsea looking to finish in the top four. Liverpool obviously looking to secure that position so Chelsea don't overrun them. They have a Champions League final on the horizon, but first they have to go to Stamford Bridge and get the job done. You look at the board, you got Chelsea in the blue, you got Liverpool in the red, Liverpool in the 4-3-3 as we expect. Firmino up front, Mane and Salah on the flanks, Jordan Henderson got rested which means Wijnaldum played in midfield ahead behind. Milner and Trent Alexander-Arnold who started at right center midfield. You look at Chelsea 3-5-2, Hazard Giroud up front, back Yoko Fabregas, Conte in midfield. On, as wing backs, Moses, Alonso, what went right, what went wrong. You look at Chelsea, they kept their shape, they were organized, they didn't get pulled out of position. One of the big issues they've had this season in these big games, defensive errors and how to find a way to attack playing this way. What went right for them was the fact that they had their base shape set in. They had the foot, the center midfielders moving into a central zone. They sat they sat deep in front of the center backs. What happened was that Ar Alexander Arnold was looking to drop a bit deeper. Back Yoko would pull out. What they had here was Alonso sitting on Nathaniel Klein, who could be a threat if he gets forward at right back. Then they had Victor Moses kind of tuck into the left, so they did have more of a back four when the ball was shifted over. The reason for that was solely based on the fact that Robertson, although he can drive forward, doesn't really like to deliver crosses from deep he likes to overlap he likes to get closer to the box before he delivers the crosses so what they had was Fabregas kind of sit on him James Milner obviously could use that to his advantage however Milner was often trying to float around the lines trying to find space on the ball that didn't really work out for Liverpool in that sense what worked out for Chelsea was they were man for man in that sense and they had one extra man in Moses Stuck tight to their men. Mo Salah had a quiet game. Rudiger was tight on him throughout. He ensured that he did foul him. He did get tight. Didn't allow him to turn like we've seen other smaller teams do this season. Mo Salah was kept quiet. Firmino obviously had an impact. You think about him running off Rudiger in the early stages when Salah pulled wide to get a long ball. Forced Courtois into a save. He did drop deep. And what happened with Chelsea was that when Liverpool's attackers dropped deep, they wanted to ensure that they maintained their line. They didn't want to get sucked in because what Liverpool try to do is if Firmino drops deep, Salah likes to pull forward. If Salah drops deep, Firmino tries to pull in. So they dropped, what happens is that he did drop off deep, push the ball out wide to Salah. It didn't really manifest into anything, but it showed what they were trying to do. At times, Chelsea got it right because there were times where both Firmino and Mane wanted to drop deep and then there were no runners in behind so that then they were okay to really sit back but when they did drop off there was a big issue and it was Mane who was the key man in the first half the best Liverpool player throughout there's one instance where he did drop deep as Piliqueta didn't follow him he turns runs that goal fires a shot on goal that Courtois pushes away in transition he was even more devastating there was one instance where they kind of sucked Cesc Fabregas into the play he drops he runs forward tries to play the pass in however there's a defender tight on Giroud, loses the ball. What happens is that Mane turns, runs on goal, forces Courtois to a save. Mane was a counter-attacking threat throughout. There was one counter-attack where Conte was forced to make a diving tackle to stop him from getting a shot on goal. We saw Bakayoko and Fabregas get forward. Conte was exposed in that sense. So in transition, there was always a threat. Mane was that threat. However, Liverpool were unable to make the difference there. So when you look at Liverpool as a whole, they were shut down in that regard. They didn't really get much from their midfield. Wijnaldum was able to kind of move forward and get his and get time on the ball but what happened was that they had Giroud and Hazard kind of sitting off so that he couldn't really threaten the play and to be honest why not them you don't really want you really won't mind him having the ball in that area because his passing range isn't that great so Chelsea weren't harmed in that sense what went right for Chelsea however you look at it they still kind of struggle struggle from an attacking sense what they really didn't do well Bakayoko was obviously reliable in possession this was one of his better games for Chelsea which isn't saying much but he had to play key, play good here if 
they wanted to win. Conte, obviously, robust throughout. Fabregas struggling to get on the ball, but Chelsea struggled to retain possession throughout, sitting a bit deeper. Alonso was tight on Klein. One of their key battles was whenever Victor Moses was able to get forward. He was the out ball, switching diagonals out to him. He really made Robertson pay. He offered a few chances throughout. He created the goal. It was obviously a cross into the box that Giroud was able to head on, and it was a deflection, but he got his head onto it. He scored. You look at the second half when James Milner moved there. He runs at Milner, creates space, delivers a cross into the far post for Alonso. Alonso just missed, hit his volley, went inches wide, but Moses was the key man throughout. There was another opportunity where he's able to deliver a cross into the box from the right. Bakayoko went into the box. Obviously, he nodded his effort wide, but those were chances that stemmed from the right-hand side because it was Moses against Robertson. Robertson didn't really get forward. They had Fabregas there, and that was a key issue for them. But they had Moses get forward at will, and he caused Robertson and Milner at a point. Lots of problems. The other big thing for Chelsea... No real combination between Giroud and Hazard. We see when they play this with a, with Morata and Hazard, there's a lot of combinations, but Chelsea lack attacking uh, options to get them forward. When they play this 3-5-2, they sacrifice William, they sacrifice Pedro, but you look at their midfield options, who do they really have? Conte not renowned for his goal scoring. Bakayoko has, in spurts, gotten forward and joined the attack, but lacks a goal scoring threat. And then you look at Fabregas, and we'll get to him in a second. But besides that, they rely heavily on their wing backs, and if it's not Hazard, who, although he's really great in the system, still lacks that decisiveness around the box. They don't really have anything going for them. Hazard was brilliant throughout, drifting out left, drifting out right, right trying to get onto the ball, obviously finding pockets of space to pick up the ball, dribbling on goal. They had to follow him at every opportunity. And the second half was often Hazard drifting to the left, being swarmed by three players, finding ways to get past the three players, but he couldn't beat Karius. There was one time where he slid a ball into Moses again, cross into the box that just evades everyone. You look at Hazard's threat in this system, it's obvious that he should play here, but they need more attacking options. They need a third man runner from midfield that can't score goals. They don't have that. And then when you look at Fabregas, he was offering such a threat. You look at one of their better chances where it was Moses here, Hazard switches, drops off to that side. Two markers come over. It's Fabregas running behind Milner like he did throughout the game. Deep run into the box. Pass comes into that space there. Fabregas fires a shot wide. But that's what Fabregas was doing really well. Making late runs in behind Milner. Couldn't really track. They didn't really do a good job of tracking his run. But besides that, Chelsea just didn't really create enough chances. They did get the goal. They did win. But you have to think that this formation, this system isn't sustainable until they get upgrades in certain positions. And yes, they have the brilliance of Hazard, but they need a bit more in the system if they're going to go on to win their final two games, possibly finish in the top four, and then go on to possibly win the FA Cup. But let me know what you guys think. Meet me in the comments below. Don't forget I upload videos every day. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And that was your daily dose of the interviews.